still got the tag on that, huh? Don't worry about it. For those for those audio only, we've got a we've got a tag on a uh, what's the fuck are those called? Kettlebell. Uh, kettlebell. I was squatting. That's about a five hundred pound kettlebell that I just yeah. just dead big, squatted. Big boy, tough to get home. Yeah. I'm Welcome into the Thoughts powerful. and Friends podcast. We're on the AFC side this time. We're talking. It's part two. It's a little follow up to our last. We're ep. talking win totals. We're talking division winners. We're talking Super Bowl. Maybe a little futures. A little sprinkies on some futures late in the game. You want to win money? Don't tail us. I don't know shit. We're fucking idiots. Complete. A little trivia. You want a trivia AFC question side. regarding the uh, American Football Conference? Yeah, I absolutely. Hit a 500 foot bomb on your last trivia question. So, T1, T another one up for me. This one's a lot harder. Okay. Good. Since 2015, four quarterbacks, all of which were in the AFC, have posted the lowest possible a 0.0 passer rating. Brandon Allen for Cincy in 2021. Ryan Finley for Cincy in 2020. Nathan Peterman for Buffalo in 2018. Not the game he threw like a million picks, though, interestingly really? enough. It wasn't that game. He didn't throw – it wasn't a zero that game. How was he worse? Uh, I think he probably like threw a touchdown that game he or something. He died on maybe. the field. I don't know. Zero. In this Hall of Famer in 2015, the other the other one, the other 0. 0.0, which is I have a impossible to do. I have a guess right off the hop, but I'm going to think about it for a couple seconds. Or No. Since 2015, this Hall of Famer. I have one that came to mind right away. In the AFC, yeah? Correct. Peyton Manning? Yeah! Ding, 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 Just because he just got got inducted, and he was a noodle arm. 2015 versus Kansas City, 5 for 20, 35 yards, 4 interceptions. Super Bowl champion. Two-time. Count two. Two-time. Yeah, he was a four-time uh, conference he champion. He was an absolute corpse out there just being carried by that defense. Huh? Yeah, like a wet noodle with a Real T-shirt ugly. cannon Yeah, that was my thought it. right away just because he was at the top of the mind because he just got inducted, and it was AFC Hall of Famer that recent. Only option. P-Man. The P-Man. Peyton Man thing, yeah. some people call him. Yeah. Real real nice piece Remember of ass. Remember when he was on SNL? How funny was that? Yeah. He's, he's got jokes. Dude, that's hilarious, dude. It certainly was. Let's start with the AFC West. AFC West? Yeah, AFC West. They okay. match up with the NFC East. Solid draw. Uh, we'll start with the defending conference champion, KC Chiefs. The Cheese. The Chefs. Their win total is 12 and a half, highest in the league. They went 14 and 2 last year. Uh, the downfall of the team ended up being their poor offensive line play. Injured offensive line, also, though. Correct, yeah. But Super Bowl. due to injury, poor offensive line play. Um, they addressed those issues. They got back Laurent Duvernay Tardif, who was. Uh, what a name. Excellent name. Top tier name. He was. He's a doctor. He was f- help fighting on the front lines of COVID. He opted out uh, of the season last year, so he's back. They got they traded their first round pick this year for Orlando Brown Jr. from the Ravens. Uh, he's a very good offensive lineman. They picked up Kyle Long, although he's already injured. Um, Tunney, yeah, so, Tunney, right? Yeah, yeah, they did. Yeah, they, so they've they remade the offense. I didn't know you were talking about for a second. They remade the offense. T H U N E Y. I think it's Tooney. Tooney. That's why it threw me uh, off. I think that's that's what that's how I pronounce it. But that's why it threw me off. Funny, yeah, funny. It threw me off. But they've remade the offensive line. Um, they lose Sammy Watkins on offense. Bottom line, they have the best quarterback in the game. I think the Chiefs might be pretty good this year. They got the best, the highest win total for a reason. They're good. They yeah. have. They. I mean, not a lot of people are talking about it. The Chiefs are pretty good. They have. The NFC East is the worst division, probably. In my, it's close with the AFC South, maybe. And that's who they ma- match up with. Easy schedule. Andy Reid, Patrick Mahomes. I'll take the over. I'll take the over, too. Uh, the Kansas City Wolves going to be dancing in that end zone all season long. They're, I don't, they're, they're unstoppable. They're an absolute wagon. Clyde They've Edwards-Hilaire got. in the backfield. They have Tyree Kill and Travis Kelsey. If either one of them get injured you know it's you can't you can't go on trying to 
well, if this happens, if this injury happens, you can't really play that game. But they are thin off on the offensive side uh, as far as playmakers outside of those guys. Um, but I think B and U could go catch like five, six hundred yards from Patrick Mahomes. He's he good. He is that guy. He's that dude. I'll he take is, the over. I think they win. He is that Whittle man. Games. I with the offensive line addressed. I think they are rocket ships to the moon. Um, they're already they, on the moon. Yeah. They're just gonna hang they've, out. They've built a little base up there. They um, they've got some freeze dried foods and they're sucking some little pouches of like Salisbury steak. Yeah, they've made a home there. Made a residency. Sure. on the moon. Uh, they've got one more year. Mahomes signed the gigantic extension. They have one more year of him at, at reasonable money before that kicks in, maybe. So it's it's full on, full bore. I think they get the buy. I think they're the number one seed. Uh, yeah. I'll take the over. Patrick Holmes' revenge tour. Starts Scary. Now. Petrifying. Starts now. Let's do it. Um, easy enough. Oh, we can move on. The L.A. Chargers. Are Go second. Chargers. Our second is far. <laughs> well, that's a little, little Arnold gov, Schwarzenegger. Little gov? Little, little, governor there? Little gov. Not bad. Little gov terminator there. Might have nailed that. Go, go Chargers. Go. Go Chargers. Go. They got a, their win total is nine and a half. They went seven and nine last year. They punctured Tyrod Taylor's lung to get Justin Herbert in there. Oops. Conspiracy? I'll look the other way if you will. Ooh. Turns out he's pretty sick. Yeah. Um, Anthony Lynn's gone. That guy was an all-time loser. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what he seemed to not know the rules of football sometimes. What an incompetent head coach. They bring over Brandon Staley from who's the defensive coordinator last year for the Rams. Uh, he's their head coach now. Justin Herbert seems pretty legit. They surrounded him with pretty good offensive linemen to protect him. They drafted one. I mentioned on the NFC show they brought over Corey Lindsley, a center from the Packers, who's one of the better centers in the league. They have stars on defense. They have Derwin James. They have uh, Joey Bosa. Derwin James missed the whole season last year? He did. He was injured in camp. He missed the entire year. Yeah, pretty sure. Uh, but he's he's one of the best safeties in the league when he's on the field. He's he's kind of got the injury bug, the injury label. He'd be Inju- getting hurt. Injury prone, but he can stay on the field. He's one of the best safeties in the league. Uh, I mentioned Joey Bosa already. Some other just solid guys on the defensive side. Um, I'll take the over. This is a tricky one for me because they weren't particularly good last year. What was their record last year? Seven and nine. Seven and nine. Not great. They basically add Derwin James. Correct. Other than that, they're bringing in the same team, basically. They added a tackle in the draft. The Chargers are one of those teams, much like the Falcons, much like insert teams that seem cursed for whatever reason. Chargers going to Charger? Things... That are not positive tend to happen to them a lot. I there's definitely that vibe. So that is looming it. over my thought process for them for this year. Anthony that being Lynn's said, gone. their Lynn's team is gone. St- but he stunk. He did stink. He stunk. He, he did. if you could mismanage a clock, if you could mismanage a uh, play call, they did uh, yeah. situationally. There's two or three games that they lost based was on so inept some decision making issues. Yeah, I think, I think Justin Herbert is. Very good. Mm-hmm. Appears to be that guy. Uh, Eckler in the backfield. Keenan Allen. Mike Williams. Not great at tight end. I think they brought in Jared Cook. Stars on the defense. If they stay healthy, I'll take the over. I'm taking the over. Me too. You, well, you convinced me. You convinced me. All right. Peyton Manning's Denver Broncos. Win total is eight and a half. Seemed, on first glance, seemed a bit high to me. I thought the same thing. They went 5-11 and 11 last year. They did. They fun fact. Go ahead. I'm going to get you a fun fact. Yeah. Uh, the eighth best roster, according to Pro Football Focus, Denver Broncos. They lost Von Miller for the year in camp last year. That's a gigantic one of the best pass, rusher, pass rushers in the league. History of the league. Yeah. Hall Maybe of Famer. the best of all time. Yeah. Very, very good. <laughs> um, th- I think uh, Vic Fangio is still there, their head coach. Big mm-hmm. defensive guy. I think their defense will keep them in games. They have good offensive skill guys. Um, they have Cortland Sutton, who missed all the entire year with a torn ACL last year. They drafted Jerry Judy la- the um, 2020 draft. Um, they have Noah Fant. They have some solid offensive linemen. Uh, K.J. Hamler in the slot. A lot of offensive weapons. 
I don't think they have a guy that can get him the ball. The guy pulling the trigger. I, I almost. It, I it, think if there's you can, an argument to be made that Drew Locke is the worst starting starting quarterback in the NFL. If you could guarantee me that Teddy Bridgewater would start every game, I would probably take the over. I think he's a steady a steady hand that could let the defense win games and distribute to their pretty solid offensive guys. Yeah, I think Drew Locke is sneaky real bad. Stinky boy. Real bad. Um, can they be one game over 500? I mean, they went 5-11. and 11. Yeah, their defense is solid. They added Kyle Fuller, which is a nice addition. They drafted Patrick Sertan, uh, the second. Who bad running backs. Is this well, they have Javante Williams. Sneaky, Maybe not a bad running sneaky, back. Just run Melvin Gordon in the ground, kind of let Javante take over later. They drafted him out of North I Carolina. Think Judy, poised for a breakout year. If someone could get him the ball. He, he struggled with drops last year, which was, which was odd for him. But, yeah, he could he could take a jump in year two. I just don't know who's going to – I don't know if Vic Fangio is that good at coaching, and I don't want it to be Drew Locke under center. It's a lean to the under for me. I'll take the under. I wouldn't bet it. Co- uncertainty at quarterback and not a fan of Vic Fangio. Well, I love the defense, though. I Tough think one. the defense – defense wins championships, Wes. I've I heard know, that. Did you, did you know that? Does You're a win, big football guy. Does it win win total bets? It might get you a game over 500. I've watched – they <laughs> strike me similarly to, like, what the Chicago Bears were last year. An uh-huh. elite, elite defense with some okay weapons that, you know, the defense is good enough that they're going to beat all the bad teams and lose to the more high-powered ones. On the on the whole, probably better offensive weapons than the Bears. Probably. Allen Robinson's probably better than any receiver yeah, they have. Yeah, total, yeah. Montgomery's it's, it's close, better yeah, at running back. But, yeah, that's it's a pretty good the comp. The two to four options are probably better in Denver. Pretty, pretty good comp. Um, I'll take the over. For I'll, the, I'll the, lean under for the horses just because of, just cause of quarterback. They're th- the third best team, I think, pretty clearly in that division. They do get a nice uh, cross conference with the uh, NFC East, which is which is a positive. They get to beat up on Nick Sirianni and Joe Judge and and the dunce that is Mike McCarthy. Um, so I'll take I'll I'll lean under very slightly. Um, the last team in the division, Viva Las Vegas, the Raiders, the. The fight in Gruden's, their total is seven. They went eight and eight last year. Um, looking through this team, they kind of have a sneaky, okay defense. They have some names that I like on defense, how they'll play. I don't know. I think teams usually play pretty hard for Gruden, for whatever that wor- that's worth. They added Yannick Ngakwe to the defensive line, really good pass rusher. They already had Cleveland Farrell and Carl Nassib and Max Crosby, who had – I suppose you could say somewhat of a down year after a breakout rookie year. Um, so the, I like the defensive line. It's pretty solid. Nick Kwiatkowski, uh, Jonathan Abrams, probably their best player. Um, Safety. Overall. In, in Thumper. Kind of plays in the box, kind of a, um, a downhill safety. They added Casey Hayward, who someone might call a little dusty. Uh, they drafted Damon Arnett, who's a uh, probably more of a slot corner out of Ohio State. Um, he got a lot of hype but didn't really play that well this past year. And they drafted one of my favorite safeties uh, in the second round. A lot of people thought he could go in the first. Trayvon Morig out of, I think, Washington. Um, so a lot of a lot of names that I like. I don't know how they'll all come together. Derek Carr, quarterback, questionable. Questionable. Seven seems low. I don't know. Seven seems low, but they have to play Kansas City twice. You they think do. the Chargers are good. They have Very to play good. them twice. They, yeah. I think they're... But seven is not very many wins. How many wins did they get last year? They were eight and eight. Eight and eight last year. So with the same quarterback. I think they'll regress with Darren Waller is one of the best tight ends in the league. One of probably second. Henry Ruggs. They, on the outside, they're a little shaky. Um, yeah, Ruggs might be nothing, but he mm, he's fast. Fast is good. Fast. You know, uh, you Josh can, Jacobs. You can't teach Pierce to be a little one dimensional. Definitely, they brought in Kenyon Drake to Kenyon Drake to supplement him. Bit of a bit of change of pace back. You, hmm. You're worried they lost. Um, they lost Tyrell Williams. They lost. They brought in John Brown from the Bills, um, who's I think is a solid player. But I think Brian Edwards is gonna need to take a step. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's a second year receiver. Uh, they still have Hunter Renfro in the slot. Darren Waller is, is gonna be their main offensive. As focus. he was last year, the air. Yeah, he's a stud. The offensive line is good. It's not like two years ago, like elite, elite, but it's still pretty good. What do you think, Wes? I'm going to lean over. I took the under on the Broncos. I'll lean over. I think they go eight and nine. 
this is a stinky number to me. I think they want us to all think over. I think the Vegas knows. I think I'm going under on the Raiders. I um I the offense is a little shaky to me. The defense has got some names, but I don't think they've got the high end superstar names that you want to really be an elite enough defense to make up for their shortcomings on the opposite side of the ball. Totally. So fair. I'm gonna go under on the Raiders. It's a stay away. Uh, to bet, but I will lean over. Lean over. Let's go to. Uh, who do you have? We'll we'll just. Who do you have? I assume the Kansas City Chiefs winning this. Uh, I think yeah, Chiefs are gonna eke it out by three or four games. The don't don't the, the, the Chargers are coming for win. that. The ass. Chargers could win this division. I don't think. I don't think very many times they do. Out of th- they might win this like one or two times out of ten, but they could win this division. I'm just the saying, Raiders could win the division. You don't, and me could win the division. Don't underestimate. They're going to play the game, so in theory they could. Don't underestimate how bad Anthony Lynn is. That's all I'm saying. But I'll take the Chiefs. Uh, I think they win the division. We'll go to the AFC East. Defending champs, Buffalo Bills of the, the AFC East. We'll get a start. Their total is 11. They went 13-3 and three last year. The Mafia. I talked about on the NFC show how I like Joe Brady as one of the best assistants in the league. I think um, Brian Dable, I was shocked he didn't get a job as a head coach somewhere. I think he is the best offensive assistant in the league. He's their offensive coordinator. He's back. Um, Leslie Frazier, the defensive coordinator, former head coach um, in the NFL, is also back. And I think Sneaky, one of the best coaches in the NFL, Sean McDermott, uh, is at the helm. Giant leap for Josh Allen last year. Um, they On the defensive side of the ball, they have a lot of the same names back. Um, the defensive backfield, they have Micah Hyde and Jordan Poyer, uh, one of the better corners, Tretavius White. Um, I like – so the past couple of years in the draft, they've kind of scooped up like the falling – quote, the falling value. They picked up Ed Oliver a couple of years ago when he kind of slid down the board. They picked up – uh, what was his name? Um, AJ Epinesa last year from Iowa, and I think the second round he fell to the second round. They picked him. They picked Greg Rousseau from Miami this year as he fell on the board. I just think they've done a good job of drafting. The roster is completely stacked, in my opinion. I think it's smash over. Agree. Hammer time. Brant, brant, brant. This have- might be the Best all-around team in the NFL. Most well-rounded club in the entire league. The roster is depth, top to bottom, exquisite. all three phases. An incredible team out there in Buffalo. Love them. Love Josh Allen. Love everything he's about. I think he could even take another leap this year. Even level up a little bit more. Um, I think the run game might be their biggest question mark. Sure. The backfield is probably their weakest uh, skill group yeah. area. The one receivers the, are obviously very good. One of the biggest things about uh, Brian Dable taking over uh, the offensive um, coordinator, he they went four wide a ton. They they spread people out and they throw it at one of the highest rates in the league. That's the NFL now. That that was mm-hmm. one of the biggest reasons Josh Allen broke out working but with, working with Dable. As we saw in the playoffs last year, it helps if they can kind of establish the run yeah, a little run, bit, which sometimes they struggle to in those January games. But for this purpose, win total regular season, hammer yeah. it. Seems weird. Don't understand why it's this low. I why would they regress? I agree. They I, and I love that they the continuity in the coaching staff with a ton of the roster. I uh, they still have Allen on his uh, last year of his rookie deal before his. Um, fifth year option and then they're his giant extension so it's full full send win now mode the roster's totally stacked i I think it's i think it's hammer time on the over for the bills yeah total agreement there we'll move to the patriots down year first time they missed the playoffs in a decade first year without tom brady did not go great uh their total for this year is nine and a half after going seven and nine last year um they went they they splashed the cash in the offseason yeah, they probably made the most moves of about Definitely. any team. They, they spent a ton of the money. Most high profile moves for certain. Yeah. Definitely. Uh last year was a combination of Cam Newton and who else played quarterback for them? Did Stidham play some? He did. He came in a bit. Uh, yeah. and then Hoyer. Hoyer. So, so it was a revolving door at quarterback as Cam Newton was injured. They drafted uh, Mac Jones with the fifteenth pick in the first round. 
Um, I think it's going to be mostly Cam unless he gets injured. I don't. I don't see. Mac yeah, I think Mac Jones, Jones is, is looking good in camp. I guess, but uh, looked fine in this preseason game. Um, but I think it's going to be Cam's team for for now at least. Seems um, that way. So Cam Newton under center. Bill Belichick. They spent, in my opinion, not great. They kind of spent on. It was a little misguided. The guys that you they think picked. so? They they picked up Hunter Henry. They picked up Johnny Smith. Two tight ends. I don't know if they're gonna, gonna go a lot of eleven personnel and. Um, I mean, I think with Cam at quarterback, you want to kind of pack the middle of the field, run the ball, play some more power style football. I think that lends to that. Um, I think with Cam, you probably want to be playing inside the hashes a little more than most quarterbacks. So that's good. And obviously, Belichick and McDaniel's have had some pretty good success with two tight end sets in the past. Um, I don't think either of these guys are as talented as those two guys that they had being Gronk and Hernandez, but Definitely um, still pretty good. Um, I like the moves they made on defense. Jalen Mills and Matthew Judon are both yeah. pretty solid players. Matt, Matt Judon is a good player. They brought him over from the uh, Ravens. Um, Kyle Van Noy coming back. Yeah, they get back one of the best middle linebackers, uh, Dante Hightower. He opted out last year. Ah, yes. Uh, he is a dog. Mm-hmm. He's very, very good uh, in the middle. I'm trying to remember the uh, – was it Aguilar that they signed? Yeah, they Aguilar. signed Nelson Aguilar from the from the Raiders. I just don't think they signed him to – Dude, Bill's going to figure him out, dude. Bill dude, is Bill's notoriously Bill. <laughs> shitty. Notoriously shitty at figuring out – Perimeter receivers. Dude, high-level perimeter receivers like Wes Welker, Julian Edelman. You wanna, they thrive there. Yeah. Oh, wait. <sighs> Here's the thing. If Nelson Aguilar can just be Randy Moss, he'll be really good. Easy game. Yeah. They brought in Kendrick Bourne as well. Oh. Um, Nikhil Harry is still there. He, he made a cool catch in camp. I don't know. He, they kind of stink on the outside. Cam's doesn't really excel at throwing to the outside anyways. He's pretty erratic. Uh, they have Sony Michelle still, James White, Damian Harris in the backfield. I don't know, dude. I uh, I think the lack of playmakers and Cam you, Cam Newton's poor poor play. I've never been a Newton guy. I don't think he throws it well enough. I think it's an under for me. What do you think about Damian Harris, the running back? Um, I, I feel he's, like he's pretty polarizing to people in NFL circles. Some people are extremely high on him. Some people are... I mean, as far as... I mean, I'm not a... My team watch the tape, like how great... I mean, you could talk like his fantasy value. I mean, he's never going to... In a huge rotation in New England, ever going to be someone that you're just dying to plug in your fantasy lineup. But I think he's like a early down grinder. I think he's going to be solid, pretty good. I mean, good. a lot of people, I think, are saying that they think he's, you know legitimately super talented, one of the more talented running backs Yeah, I think he's good. I think he's good. I just don't know. James White's always going to play third down there. I think... Yeah, I mean, but not... Yeah, this is this is real football, not fantasy football. Right, right. Yeah, I think he's a good good early down. I think Sony Michelle is a candidate to get traded or cut. Mm -hmm. Ramondre Stevenson uh, in preseason week one busted a, like, a 90-yard touchdown run. I think Michelle could, could sneaky be one of the guys to look out to get cut from this roster with Stevenson and Harris and James White already, and Brandon Bolden, who plays a lot of special teams, already uh, looking pretty good. Michelle, just knee problems. He just looks super slow. I just don't think – yeah, I think Harris is is a pretty good running back. Um, So you're going under on the Pats, under nine and a half? Yes, I think – and I think it would be a a bet. I mean, it's hard to bet against – no one makes money betting against Bill Belichick and the Patriots, but I'll take take nine and eight. I think – What's what's their cross division NFC? Uh, they play the NFC South, so they play Tampa, New Orleans, Carolina, and Atlanta. I'm taking the over. I think on New England. Okay. Uh, I think they sneak it out. I think Bill Belichick will sell his soul and cut off a toe for them to win ten games. I think they're going to come up with some really weird, off the wall shit. Um, I think Bill, Be- Bill Belichick's one of those guys that he can out coach another NFL team and beat them um, as he's shown before there, there are a few uh, I think they can scheme enough stuff up I think they've got enough guys on their defense um, I their, mean they've got defense. a pretty standard Belichick Patriots team minus the best quarterback of all time yeah that's um, a big big if 
I kind of don't hate the idea if Mac Jones comes in and plays. I think he fits more what Bill likes to do. Yeah, it, it's um, and I'm also not I'm not I'm not out on Cam yet. Um, the weapons are not great. I'll lean over, like you said. I just don't like betting against the Patriots. Yeah, fair enough. And to be fair to, to Cam, looked pretty good in the first month. He ended up getting COVID um, uh, like a month and a half into the season or so and really never looked the same. But they were they were pretty solid. He was decent, early, especially uh, at a knack for scoring at the goal line. He just never really looked the same after the COVID bout. The defense is for sure better. They still have Gilmore who I think may be holding out. They need to figure out the contract with him, but I'm sure he'll be there. Getting Hightower back. They did bring on Judon. They did need some help with the pass rush. I, I hear you. It's a no bet, but I'll go uh, slight lean to the under. We will go to the Miami Dolphins. Their win total is also 9.5. They last year went 10-6. and six. Um, The big question here... Um, before Tua is the giant question. Huge fan of Brian Flores. I think he's also one of the better coaches. Came from the Belichick tree. Top, top eight or ten coach in the league. Very, uh, very solid. Has been able to get the most out of um, teams. I think it's going to come down to Tua. They've the offensive line is young. It's it's okay. It's I think that's a big concern. Um, but they've they've stacked the deck around him as far as offensive playmakers. I think it's either. He's going to have to show something because last year, it it was a tough situation. Him and Ryan Fitzpatrick kind of, yeah, they kind of did him a little bit dirty. Yeah, they they would give him a very short leash, but then they would throw, him, they would into, throw him back in they'd there, throw him into games, and then and then pull him if yeah. if it didn't go perfect. It was it was really odd. He was always looking over his shoulder, and then Fitzpatrick, of course, would come in and like miraculously do Fitzpatrick things. Uh, I think a big step could be taken for uh, Tua. They brought in Will Fuller. They drafted Jalen Waddell. Mike Gesicki's a pretty good tight end. They already have Devontae Parker on the edge. A young offensive line. Um, we'll see. They've, they've spent some draft capital on that. Defensively, um, pretty pretty solid. Not a ton of huge names. They have a good uh, secondary. They have uh, Byron Jones and Xavier Howard, who just renegotiated his deal, so he'll be there. Um, it's going to be – I was under on the Patriots, over on uh, – on the Dolphins for me. What do you think of the Dolphins? I really like the Dolphins. Um, I think to uh, – I just – I don't know. From what I saw in college, it just seems like there's no way that he's this bad of an NFL quarterback. I mean, to be this below average, I think there's got to be some sort of mental, some sort of coaching, some sort of – there's something else going on because it's not his talent that is holding him back, I don't think. Uh, I will bet that he has, you know, a little bit more of a stable year and a better year on top of that. Obviously, the rest of the team is incredibly um, deep. Uh, I like their wide receivers. I like Gasicki. Their defense obviously was tormenting people last year a lot of times. They created a lot of turnovers, created a lot of points on defense. I don't see any reason why that changes. They added a uh – a real high upside uh, Jalen Phillips uh, pass rusher, I think, is the, yeah. they, they weren't lacking, I guess, in that area, but he he's a high you upside more. guy. High more upside guy good. on the defensive line, I think will help out a lot. Um, they added him in the draft. Yeah, I, I, I think they're the second best team in this division, by my estimation. Uh, I think they're going to be competing for a playoff spot. I like it. I lean over for the Finns. I don't know. Uh, I agree. I will also take the over. I don't know uh, Tua's personality really. Uh, he doesn't. He seems kind of quiet. But it's it, this. It's a bit of a fuck you year uh, if he's got that in him. I mean, people were really, really down. People are very critical of his play, and rightfully so. He didn't didn't show great in the games that he was. He had some some flashes. I think he played well against. I think the Cardinals, but threw some bad picks. It's it it could be with a good team around him. He could he could really step up and and prove a lot of people wrong uh, this coming year. I think he plays pretty well. I, I'll also take the over on the Dolphins. Oh, the Jets. Oh, the Jets. Their win total is six. They went a a two and fourteen last year. They sure did. It wasn't good. They had the second pick. They somehow fucked up. Not getting the number one pick by winning they those two the games. They beat the Rams. They somehow even messed up losing. Yeah, Adam Gase. Adam Gase is gone. Thank God. See ya. 
Um, Robert Sala is in his head coach, first year head coach. They drafted Zach Wilson at a BYU with the number two overall pick. Um, he will be good or bad, sink or swim. He's going to be the guy at quarterback. It's just going to either he's going to be good or he'll he'll take his lumps. There's really no other option mm-hmm. as far as I'm concerned. Um, they did support him with some offensive line help. They took Becton, Mackay Becton, two years ago, uh, another offensive lineman this past year. Um, they're they're doing what they can. They brought in Corey Davis. They still have like slot guys. Jamison uh, Crowder. They got Crowder. Right. Elijah Moore is is kind of a smaller, quicker receiver. Uh, ooh, Denzel Mim seems like a bust. Who they took in the second or third round last year on the, that plays on the outside. Ugh. Talk to me about the Jets. What do you got? What is this number on this team? Why would this team be five, four wins better than they were last year? I mean, they got a new coach. I don't think the coach is going to get them four games. Adam Gase is why. That's why. There's, there's no – this team – they don't have any good players. They don't have good players. It's like the Lions thing. I don't care who's coaching them. The players on the team are bad. And I am firmly Zach Wilson – you're it's not good. Yeah. I'm out. I've been out the entire time. It doesn't there help. was never a point in time where I was in. There as soon try. as I heard him over Justin Fields, wrong. Burn it down. No shot. No shot he's better than Justin Fields. I there agree. is no shot. The guy is going to get eaten alive. He will. I mean, he's going to be eaten alive. He won't be the starter in like two years. Wow, you were just Sam Darnold Out. all over again. Sam Darnold, Josh Rosen, whatever, it's him. He, it's not going to happen. Get, I think uh, he's C- not built like that. CJ Mosley, <laughs> CJ Mosley opted out last year. I believe they get him back. He's a pretty good uh, middle linebacker. Uh, they have a solid interior of their uh, of their defensive line that is is okay. Sheldon Rankins. They have Quinn and Williams. Uh, Carl Lawson is is. Fine. Their secondary is brutal. bad team. They have two. They have okay. They have, they signed Lamarcus Joyner, and they also have Marcus May. Yeah, I. The reason that this number stood out to me almost more than any other one. It's too high. I. In what world do they go seven and ten? None. No shot. I don't know. I'm telling you, Zach Wilson is going to look terrified out there i think it, he does so one of the biggest things at byu was that he was always protected very well he had tons of time to throw they did they did invest in the offensive line is the only thing i can i can say it doesn't help and he's been bad in camp it doesn't help that the camp reports have been poor he's the, been bad i don't know it's i get bad vibes too. from him he i don't think it, huge part of playing quarterback is your teammates like you i don't think there's any shot that Zach Wilson is a chill, cool dude. He doesn't drink. He doesn't go out. He does. He's not one of the guys. Yeah. He comes when in. You, he comes into practice, and you're like, "Hey, Zach, what'd you do this weekend? Nothing. Hung out with my wife and my three golden retrievers, and we we watched The Office for the fifteenth time." There's there's something to a a guy that yeah a guy that the boys will play for. Not like, him. Like you compare. Maybe him to, I'll com- be wrong. I'd be sure. You compared him to Justin Fields, like the he's a dude. The just electric vibe that he brings to a team. Magnetism on just that guy. S- this swag coming out of his neck. Colossal just, cock energy from that guy. <laughs> just the coolest guy Chips in the room. Chips are down. Any quarterback that came into this class this year, I want Justin Fields with the ball. Yeah. Any of them. Just a dude you'll ride with. Yes. And yes. you just don't get that vibe from Zach Wilson. None of it. None of it. He seems like a real, just a real nerd. <laughs> I don't yeah. I don't know. I'll also take the under. Take the under. <laughs> You'd be stupid not to. That's my one bet. That's my one. I'm putting my flag Lock. in it. Are you Guarantee. Down a, you're going to put down a marker? that Little, p- plant my flag on that one. I, I'm not going to call you an idiot for not betting the under, but how on earth? Idiot. <laughs> this team sucks. <laughs> They're going to suck. How on earth does this team win seven games and you lose this bet? No shot. 
I just can't. I just can't see it. Don't, it's an unknown. I can just see Bill Belichick with a little smirk on us. And they're playing in Fox, bro. He's just like, this kid. He not, doesn't even know what's going to hit him. I think Sala could be okay, but it, an also matter. unknown. Yeah, it's, it doesn't matter. Let's move on. There seems bad. We'll do the. Uh, we'll go to the North. They also match up with the NFC North, so they play the Packers, Vikings, Bears, and Lions. The favorite in the division is the Baltimore Ooh, uh, Ravens. Go ahead. Who do you have winning in the AFC East? The Bills, I assume. Uh, oh yeah, definitely. Okay. Bills, hammer time. Love the Bills. The Bills, and then the Dolphins following them. I think the Dolphins pretty. Well, I don't say pretty handily, but I think I they're, think the they're Dolph- definitely in the mix for a playoff spot. I think Dolphins and New England are pretty even for me. I think the quarterback play is going to make or break both teams. Yeah, I think that is well said. As said with every team in the NFL. Sure, yeah. <laughs> quarterback, pretty important. Um, Baltimore Ravens, AFC North favorite. Their win total is 11. That is exactly how many wins they had last year. They went 11-5. and five. Um a lot of a lot of bad juju on the uh, in the wide receiver room in in camp. A lot of injuries. Marquise, Bateman, Marquise Brown's been hobbled. Um, Rashad Bateman had core muscle surgery. I think seems bad. Seems not but good. I think he's not going to miss uh, any. Maybe miss like maybe a week, a, a few, a one or two weeks. Um, Sammy Watkins is just a, a walking IR room. He, Dude, he, be getting hurt. Yeah, he'll he'll uh, he'll be uh, he'll be on the IR before you know it. Um, great coaching, um, solid defense. Lamar Jackson pulling the trigger. Um, favorite target will be Mark Andrews. They're going to run the ball a lot. J.K. Dobbins thoughts. The Ravens are always going to be good. I wrote down um, the wrote, Ravens are always going to be a solid playoff contender, top of this division every single year, no matter what. Just, just a huge regular season win. Uh, just generate regular season wins. Do you see? The stat on them in the preseason? 19-0. and 0. That seems impossible. They've won 19 straight preseason games. That seems impossible. They're just winners. How, I wrote down... Harbaugh's a tryhard. I wrote down... He is a tryhard. I wrote down the number feels right. 11 feels right. Mm-hmm. Um, I think they're going to win a good amount of games. Um, what could happen that would cause them to not get there? What scenario has to happen? Outside of an outside injury. Of, outside of the obvious of Lamar getting hurt. Um, Trace McSorley, though. Mm, but no. <laughs> no. Penn State frat house legend. Yeah. Dude tears it up. Happy Valley. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's just... They're yeah, super I, consistent. I just, Their run game is just similar to San Francisco. They just scheme up incredible run losing game. Any, they lost Judon. How they does that... Lo- what does that do? Judon. I'm okay. I mean... You can't pay everyone. You're going to have to give Lamar a huge extension soon. It's just one of those casualties of having really good players. Mm -hmm. It is what it is. Their defensive backfield, Marcus Peters, they'll have everyone back there. Um, They did. They do. They lose Judon, but they do add Ronnie Stanley back, who was lost to a leg injury, ankle injury, um, midway to later in the year. One of the best tackles in the league. I mean, they're they're just winners. But the number feels right. I, I don't know which way to lean. Probably over. I mean, I don't – probably lean over, but I don't love it. I think it's a tough division they play in. I think they get to play the Lions, which helps. Mm -hmm. The Vikings, who we both think are are pretty – The Vikings, who we don't love. The Bears, who, you know – Could face Andy Dalton. Yeah, they could get to face Andy Dalton, even if they get to face Justin Fields. It's a rookie quarterback. You Mm -hmm. like your chances. Against a a good defense. Hmm. They won the division last year, correct? No. The Browns won the division last year. The Pittsburgh Steelers. Oh, yeah. Won the division last year. They got three teams in the old old playoffs last year. Let me confirm that, but I'm almost certain. Yeah, the Browns and the Ravens both went 11-5. The Steelers went 12-4. Hmm. Okay. They might have been 12-0 last time. But, yeah. Yeah, I think you're right. Um, Ooh, I do. This is tough. I'm going to take the over. I just think they have too many dudes, good coaching, solid run game, just perfectly constructed to win regular season games. However, Lamar is limited throwing. I think they just have too many dudes. Um, they, I think Patrick Queen, I would shout, shout out Patrick Queen in the middle of that defense. Go Tigers. I think he is really, really good. Mm-hmm. Really, really good. I think he is recognized after this year as one of the best linebackers in the league. Um, I mentioned the defensive backfield. They have Marlon Humphrey, Marcus Peters, 
Jimmy Smith, all the, the names that they've had uh, over the past couple of years of that defense will be back. Um, Calais Campbell, Brandon Williams on the front. I, I'll lean over. I don't love it because I, I think the number is is pretty close. Yeah, I'll go over too. I just don't want to bet against them. They're a great regular season team every single year. So yeah, over. Don't love the don't love the weapons on the outside, but I just I just don't think it matters. I think throw anyone out there. I think they're just going to run it well enough. I think they'll have think they ever really had good weapons on the outside nah. on that team. No, nah, no. Never. Even Not. back to like the Ray Lewis days. Never. Yeah. Next uh, team in the division with a win total of 10.5 just under the Ravens is the Cleveland Browns. Uh, they went 11-5 and five last year. Same record as the Ravens. Tied for second in that division. Um, their biggest uh, their biggest positive on the team, in my opinion, is they have an elite, elite offensive line. I mean... Maybe the best in the league. Uh, the Saints have a very good one. I would say they're probably the best offensive line in the league. They have two very good running backs. They run it a ton under Kevin Stefanski. Uh, they added Jadavian Clowney to the defense. They added he, not great Tack McKinley, who's an okay defensive piece. Brought a picture front. of his grandma to the draft. He did. Yeah, he did. I forgot if about you remember that. him from that. I don't know how he plays football. That's the only thing I know about you him. You mentioned Isaiah Simmons with the Cardinals. I think they have their version of that in uh, Owusu Koromoa. I think he went to Notre Dame. He's kind of an undersized linebacker, hybrid type player. A high upside to add to that defense. They get back Grant Delpit, who was thought of as a pretty uh, high upside safety. Um, Baker Mayfield pulling the trigger. Elite, elite, uh, elite run game. What do you think of the Browns? What do we think about Odell? Coming off a coming off a ACL, it seems to be a full go, or will be very soon in camp. Full go off of that. Um, I mean, he's a good player. I just don't think he gets a lot of opportunities anymore. Talk, talk, getting the fantasy streets. I just don't think he's going to get enough looks to to be. But I think he's still a good player. Uh, we'll see how he comes back from this injury, but still a good player. I love Cleveland this year. Love, 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 love. I think they win this division. I think they may challenge for the most wins in the AFC. Much like the Ravens, they're built for regular season wins. They're going to pound the ball. They're going to get to the quarterback. They've got the second best defensive lineman in the league in Miles Garrett. Stud. He's an absolute monster. He's going to be killing QBs all year. Their defense is obviously pretty stout. Um, like you said, they get the best one-two punch at the running back position in the entire league. Um, I just I, mean, I think Odell's I think people are forgetting how good Odell is, assuming he's healthy. Jarvis Landry's very good. Austin Hooper's very good. Baker Mayfield's a more than serviceable quarterback. I can't, I can't stress enough how good the offensive line is. Like it yeah. is like left to right, just superstar stud they're, offensive lineman. Yeah, like their their run game should punish people. Yeah, I'm hammering the over. This is I have, way way I have way a, too low. All caps over division winner. I agree, hundred percent. Same. I think they're. I think they also won the division. I think they're a sleeper to win the whole goddamn thing. Hundred percent agree. We're lockstep. Yeah, you and me. Love, Look at love, us. love the Browns. If Baker, if Baker can ta- take any sort of step forward through the air, I yeah, I think they're for sure live to win the AFC and live to win the Super Bowl. Hundred percent. We'll talk about futures later, but I think Baker is a sleeper to win MVP. Because they could have, Ooh. they could have the best record in the NFL. I think they're s- just stacked. I will they throw it enough? I don't know, but I think they could have the best record. Yeah, the question is his counting stats. I agree, but best player, best team, quarterback of the best quarterback team. of the best team. If if they if they can get the one seed and and have more wins than the Bills and the Chiefs, I think he's live for the MVP. We'll see if they throw enough. Um, we'll get to that in the futures. Go to the Steelers. Started like a house of fire last year. They think they won 11 or 12 straight to start the year. Went on a skid in the year. Ended up 12 and 4. Their win total this year is 8 and a half. You got pounded by the Browns in the playoffs. Yeah, just just dumb. Bum rush. Just absolutely dummied. The game was over in three series. Yeah, I think one of the first plays, they snapped it over Ben's head, and it was just... Fumble Flood recovery, gates. touchdown, pick six, touchdown, I think. Just just browbeat him. Just beat the shit out of him. Uh, they're eight and a half, though. I mean, Mike, 
Mike Tomlin has never finished under 500 in his career. Yeah. Tough to bet this against is, that this guy. This is so low. This is so low. He just low. gets the boys going. Roethlisberger, how dead is he? How dead are you, Ben? Najee Harris, apparently good. Seems good. Ben Roethlisberger, best shave of his life? Best shave of his life. He stopped eating something. I don't know. Or he finally fun. realized that there's bad foods and good foods, I think. I think yeah. There's something like that. Yeah. It's so tough to bet against Tomlin, man. Uh, their defense should be typical Pittsburgh. Defense, they got one of the best pass rushers in the league, one of the favorites for defensive player of the year in uh, T.J. Watt. I like their options on the outside. I like Claypool and Johnson. Deontay Johnson's very good. They got Juju in the slot. They, uh, they added the rookie running back, who I think they'll use a lot. The, the offensive line is a question. They didn't really address that. That was that let them down um, later in the year. Um, it does seem low. It does seem low, but it's just uh, – It stinks. The quarterback. What's, I don't – The number stinks. Mm, I – I want to lean to the under, but they just I think the rosters is too good. Like Tomlin's too good of a coach. I don't know about every every team over in this. They play they play the North. They play Green Bay, Minnesota, Chicago and Detroit. I'll I'm gonna take the over. First three, all of them, over. I, I think they go nine and eight. I think logically, I would lean over two. I think the number is stinky to me, so I'm going to take the under. I'm going to take the under. Definitely Basically trending based on that. Wrong way. I my, mean, they got my brain tells me that. Well, no, my heart tells me over. My brain is saying it's eight and a half for a reason. I'm going under. It does. It 100 percent stinks, but I think I think Mike Tomlin has a proven enough track record. I. <sighs> I think adding taking pressure off Ben and not having to have him throw fifty five times a game with Najee Harris back there now, I think that helps the defense. Will the line be good enough to even still have matter if it's Najee true. Harris it's, is it's good? It's fair. It's fair. Can only be so talented if there's nowhere to run. It's fair. I'll take Mike Tomlin and the track record and the tradition of the Steel Curtain. Steel Curtain. The Bengals. The Yinzers. The Bengals. Speaking of shitty offensive lines, the Cincinnati Bengals. Dude, they shirted it up. Dude. dude, did they, though? <laughs> they were in total six dude, and a half. They got a fucking, what's that guy? Riley Reef. They went 4 shirted 11 up. and 1 last year. Um, I lost money on that tie because they didn't kick the field goal. Fuck you. Who did they tie? The Eagles, Eagles. or some shit? Yeah, I don't know if I mentioned that in the NFC. But the Eagles will tie the game. Whatever. They fucking stink. Uh, the Bengals. Six and a half. Thoughts. Over. Really? Like them. Like them? Like them. Why? Burrow's getting disrespected. Burrow is good. Chase, Boyd, um, Higgins. People are going to see how good those three guys are. Shaky Joe camp. Mixon. Good running back. Shaky camp for, for Burrow. You're, you're in? I'm in. Burrow. Burrow's... Burrow's got the opposite Zach Wilson effect, where the dudes like him, the dudes want to play for him. 100%. That's without a doubt. Dude has... Six and a half is a disrespectful number for this team. IMO. They're basically saying they're as good as the Philadelphia Eagles. This roster is so much better than the Eagles roster, in my opinion. I wrote down a slight lean to the over as well. The Burrow off the injury should be fine... I would hate for him to lose mobility because he, he did have a sneaky um, mobile bone in his body. Big he part could, of his game. He could get out of the pocket. He could run for first downs. Should be fine. I'm worried about he's, he was a little gun shy at camp, I was reading. Um, didn't like the crowd the crowd around his feet. Just wasn't quite comfortable yet. So we'll see. That has me a little worried. I think the offensive line is a huge concern. A really tough division. I want to say over the, the defense. They have some good pieces, but I don't know. Zach Taylor seems, I don't know, whatever. Seems fine. I don't know. Their head coach is this in his second year. I mean, they have a really good safety uh, whose name is escaping. It's, uh, Jesse Bates is the safety's name. He's pretty good. I don't – the secondary – is whatever. I just don't think they have enough dudes on defense. I will go with under. I think they win. I think the numbers. 
I'll go. They win. They go six and eleven. I'll go. I'll lean under. I'm gonna go over. I think seven and ten is more than more than in the realm of possibility. I think it's likely. Uh, yeah, that's I think fair. they're pretty good. I think they keep a lot of games close. I think they probably lose a couple of close games. Yeah, my biggest I, uh, biggest concerns. I'm a, would, I'm a big Joe Burrow guy, so I'll yeah, go over. I uh, coming out of the draft, I wasn't as big. I think he thrived in a in a system that was perfect for him under Joe Brady, who we talked about with the uh, Panthers. Um, big questions off the knee injury. Big questions with the offensive line in a pretty good division. Who gets after the passer? Good defense. I'll lean under. I'll lean under. I don't love it, but I will lean under. Um, let's go to the. Last division, the AFC South. They match up with the um, NFC West, the best division in football. Very tough draw. Um, starting out with the co-favorite. Uh, now I think with the uh, Wentz injury and, and the Quentin Nelson injury, I think the Titans are now the favorite to win the division, but their win totals are both nine. Uh, they both went 11-5 and five last year, the Titans and Colts. Um, the Titans uh, lost their offensive coordinator. Uh, Mike Vrabel is still the head coach. Uh, brought in Julio Jones. They uh, did lose Clowney, who they had for they picked up for a little while on the offensive front. Um, still have Tannehill pulling the trigger. They get Taylor Lewan back at left tackle. Um, I assume everything will still run through Derrick Henry. Um, AJ Brown, opposite of Julio. Offense sounds fun. This number seems disrespectful to me. This number is way low. To you me. Do you think? I think, think this offense. I don't know what teams are going to do against this offense. I think this offense is going to be one of the better offenses in the NFL. I mean, Henry is so unstoppable, and then on top of that, you have Julio Jones and AJ Brown, neither of which you can really effectively double team. Uh, Ferkser, I think, is a really nice tight end. I think this offense is going to be gangbusters. I think they're, you know. I mean, other than, like, Kansas City, Buffalo, I think they're probably the best offense in the league. Kansas um, City, Buffalo, maybe Tampa. Like, I think they're right up there with any of those teams offensively. Slight con- – uh, personnel-wise, 100%. Their offensive line is quite solid. Get all pro left tackle back um, to a line that just led Derrick Henry to 2,000 yards. Derrick Henry is such a cheat code. Yeah, he's a freak show. He's impossible to uh, stop. And Ryan Tannehill, you for sure, contain. is underrated. He He's a more than adequate signal caller. Super solid quarterback. Yeah, I think their offense is very good. Slightly concerning that Arthur Smith is no longer there. I think he drew up a lot of really good offense for that team. Um, something that people are not thinking about enough is their defense is going to stink. Yeah. It's going to uh, bet but the overs. De- their, their defense stunk last year, though, too, though. You know what I mean? So why would sure. they regress? I guess. They, they did lose a few um, players. They lost to Dory Jackson. They lost uh, Clowney. They have a couple good linebackers. I'm worried they're not going to be able to rush the pass- passer very well. I think they're going to give up a ton of points, uh, a lot of high scoring games. Um, but I also have the over written down. I think their offense is going to be really, really good. Uh, I think Mike Vrabel is a good head coach. Yeah, this is – the whole offseason where I've looked at this is one of the ones that I've felt the best about of any of these any yeah. of these teams, any of these games. I I think they're – They did add a – Going to be great. They added Bud Dupree, who helps with pass rush for sure. He's a good player. Um, but I, I will also take the over, I think. I have them to win this division. As do I. Uh, I think the Colts I'm – on, I'm the other way on the Colts. Uh, I'm, I think they have a good roster, but I'm down – um, on the Colts this year. They did go 11-5 and five last year. Their win total this year is also nine. Um, Carson Wentz is already injured. I think he w- is going to be back in time and not uh, not miss too much of the regular season. Uh, one of the best guards in the league, Quentin Nelson, also had the exact same injury like a day later, which was really <laughs> spooky. I do not like ghosts. I do not like ghosts. But I think they got positive news on that. I think they are not going to be on the twelve week into that. It's more of the five or six week, which is which is good. Um, but you, is it concerning that the first year on this team that he's not going to have the reps in the camp to to get the the rhythm going with with the offense or um, where are you at on the me, Colts? It gives me like Cam vibes last year, trying to fit in, and then you get a wrench thrown into your development your uh chemistry with the other with the other you know receivers linemen what have you uh 
but they've had shaky quarterback play for the last few years, and it hasn't really affected them. I mean, it's it's limited their ceiling, but they've been able to be a playoff caliber team with a bad quarterback, with suspect quarterback play. As dusty as Philip Rivers is, he was fine. He was not that bad. He was incredibly limited. Did you see him throw the last pass of his career? He, he couldn't was, get it more than was, about 35 was, in the air. He was pretty pretty dead, but they did go 11 and 5. The arms the arm he strength was, was not He was good. better. He was better than people think, although yeah, I I, I get you. I, I feel you. Um he wasn't good. He wasn't good, but he was Gosh darn it, he was a good leader for the boys. Uh, I think I think Carson Wentz is another wet blanket loser. Yeah, guys. Like, like dudes will play for Phillip Rivers. Seems like I, a I lot of Eagles that. guys I hear seem to like him, so I don't know. It's I don't know. I I'll, don't know. I'm gonna go with the under. Don't forget they play the uh NFC West, so four really, really tough games there against the Rams, Niners, Seahawks. That, yeah, and Cardinals. that would be why these teams have lower totals. Hundred yeah, percent tough whole. schedules. Um, across the board, I think I, Frank Reich has proven to be a pretty solid coach. I think their defense is solid. They have some good, um, they have some good players. Darius Leonard is a really good linebacker. Um, who who they get from the 49ers last year? Was it Armstead? It was all along the defensive line. It's pretty Tariq? good. Tariq? I don't remember. Um, but they traded their first round pick for him. Um, he's pretty solid. I just. I don't love the quarterback. I know that didn't bother him last year, but I'll lean under. Tough schedule. Uh, don't like the quarterback. I'm going to go over. I think they've got too good of a roster. I think they've got a solid infrastructure in the coaching front. Uh, I think even if they go with Eason, I think Eason's not that bad. I think Eason's serviceable. Armstead is, I think, still on the Niners. It was DeForest Buckner. DeForest well, Buckner. Who I was thinking Yeah, of. yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I'll lean over. I just think this team, you know, they they got a solid infrastructure. I think they are, you know, competing for a wild card spot this year probably. Not going to be one of the better teams in the league. I think they're going to be able to establish the run with Taylor, who's one of the better running backs. Yeah, I would, I'll go over on the I think that Indy. is totally fair. I will favor I'll favor the Titans. In the division, I'll take them to win it, and I think the Colts are a slight. I think nine is. I think it's pretty close. Like nine and nine and eight is probably, probably about right. I probably wouldn't bet it, but I'll lean under on the Colts. Let's talk Jacksonville Jaguars. Let's jag off. They were the worst team in the league last yeah, year. They were. They got the number one pick, and as a result, they were able to draft Trevor Lawrence. Yeah, they picked up Their Trevor Lord Lawrence. And savior. Yeah, they're they went one and fifteen last year. Not great, Bob. The total this year is six and a half. Is Trevor Lawrence that good? No. Is Trevor Lawrence seven games no. good? No. I'd argue almost no quarterback. This is similar, is to, the, not this is similar to the Jets thing. Like, what are we doing? Uh, Trevor Lawrence is good, pretty good. Urban Meyer is probably going to be a disaster, right? I, you know, I don't. We'll see. I think that's very much in the range of outcomes. Urban Meyer is the first year head coach uh, with a rookie quarterback. They still stink. The roster they still stinks. stink. They still have all pretty bad players. Yeah, Lawrence is one of the best quarterback prospects in recent memory. I mean, Andrew Luck and Peyton Manning, and, and but he's this is a classic. The roster stinks. This is a classic like popularity. People want to bet on the Jags, so they got to get it at a number to where they're not going to lose their shirt on it. Boy, I mean, and we've already mentioned that the schedule across conference is absolutely brutal. They play the they play the West. So the comp for this is I mean um the Colts had a similar team. They brought in Andrew Luck. They were in the playoffs the next year. Is he that type of player? Is he that good to lift a team I to that level? Because it's been done before with a guy who, you know, this is one of the big comps for Lawrence is Andrew Luck. That's like the comp true. for him. True. Yeah, uh, I don't remember the roster. I mean, they that that the Colts had. If it was, I think it was comparable. pretty bad. I don't totally remember though. I mean, they were bad enough to get the first overall pick. They had to win. I don't know four, three, two games probably. Yeah, I'm trying. To, I thought there was some some like circumstance that ended them up with that pick. Ah. Uh, I, was it like the year after Manning and they like started, yeah. started like a stiff? At yeah, I mean, well, the quarterback was bad, yeah, because Manning got traded 
they played without Manning. I think the roster was better than this roster that the uh, that the Jags have. I mean, the defense they have some nice players like C.J. Henderson's a, a nice prospect at corner. I think he's going to be pretty good. I just, I mean, are they going to go seven and ten? No, I don't uh, think so either. Maybe no. <laughs> It's a it's Trevor an under. Lawrence is pretty good. Um, he's good. It's an under for me. Yeah, I don't know who was hurt on this 2011 Colts team. I mean, they had the norm. They had Adai, Garcon, Wayne, Dallas Clark. I can't imagine I mean, was, all those guys played. It was the team. Uh, Dallas Clark it looks like did not play most of the season. It was a team that was very good with Manning. That they just had like some Reggie uh, idiot. Curtis Painter was the quarterback. Uh, yeah, Purdue legend. Six touchdowns, nine picks on the season. Pretty, pretty good. Hot. Um, is that bad? Yeah, I, Dallas Clark only started ten. Oh, Curtis Painter only started two, so I don't know who else they started. Is that but Orlovsky? no, not Orlovsky. Was it? It might have been. Was he? Uh, might have been. Yeah, Orlovsky was on the team. Yeah, so yeah, probably not as bad as this team, but not good. Um, uh, it's a good comp though. It's a good comp, and that's a comp that Lawrence gets as Andrew Luck, just one of the best prospects that we've seen recently. I mean, he's. It's an under for me. Yeah, same. Especially with the uncertainty of the first-year head coach of Urban Meyer, who might stink. Uh, the defense still needs just a shitload of work. I just can't imagine with the – I mean, they play the Texans twice, to be fair. But the add-on that they play the NFC West, yes. I think they just get – That's a huge swing that they play the NFC West. They just get just – their ass kicked over there, I would imagine. I just can't imagine he is he's that elite. I do. I do think he's very good. I just don't think he can elevate him to seven wins in his first year. I will take the under. Me too. Uh, the last team in the division is the Houston Texans. They went four and twelve last year. Their win total this year is four. Um, my my first my first note that I have here is fucking yikes. <laughs> That's a big yikes for me, dog. This team is stinky, stinky butt trash. <laughs> This team, basically the same team with Deshaun Watson last year, went 4-12. and And they think they're going to win the same amount of games without him. Why would that be the case? Tyrod Taylor is going to quarterback them, I think. Tyrod Taylor, bad. Deshaun not Watson good. is problematic. He will not be playing at one single game this no, year. No, he is not. He appears to be a very bad man. He no chance he plays a game this year. Whatever happens, and maybe he plays next year. No chance he plays a game this year, especially not for Houston. No. Um, this team, this team is might the worst not team win in the NFL. A game. They might go zero and seventeen. They might be the first. I mean, they'll probably win a game just because that's usually what happens. I mean, this is the worst roster in the league, and I don't think it's that close. Just, just the most uninspiring roster of all time just there, yeah you, you just look no up and down dudes. there's no player i'm like that's a good player nice piece first year coach uh david cully don't know who that is no no i don't he might be i think he came over from the ravens maybe he's a good coach but it's not gonna fucking matter yeah the team is you know run by a youth minister also which seems bad seems like not the best of football minds to have in charge well, ju- I mean, just going from the Bill O'Brien Not era. to, you know, not to demean the power of our Lord and hey. Savior, Jesus Christ. Shouts out, shouts out to our guy, JC. They will have JC on their side. You ever think about that? <laughs> it ain't going to be enough. The best QB1. They're going to need Jesus, Buddha, Allah. They're, they're going to need every God you can pray to to have any hope of being... Anything that exceeds a complete and total I mean, they don't dumpster have, fire. Like they, O'Brien just traded all of their assets away. I mean, they have Tunsil, who's like I suppose a good left tackle. But well, who cares? They have no. Who are you protecting? I don't. Just let them go. They have no, and all those assets that they traded to Miami to get him. They just have no guys to. Let's please to build a try roster. to have the worst record in the league, and let's draft. I don't know, whoever, Spencer Rattler, whatever. I Let's get something going. I think this team is going to win zero or one game. Yeah, I would pencil them down for one or two. Um, you got to be a real special type of shitty to win zero games. <laughs> they might be. 
But I think they win. Yeah, one. I mean, the Jags that. won one last year. The, the Jets won, they won two. The first for game of the year sake. last year. Yikes! They lost fifteen straight. Oh, that's a tough God. couple months. That is not fun to go to work. That is not fun to go to work. Yeah, Houston bad. Worst record in the league, probably. I wrote down hard under. Yeah, hammer it hard under. Um, division winner. You going Titans or Colts? Titans, baby. Titans for me as well. Um, who is getting the bye? Who's the number one seed? Hmm. Uh, Chiefs. I'm going with the Bills. You're going with Buffalo. I, I'm, I am f- just rocket ships, wheels up, to the moon. We're taking off. I think I think it's uh I think it's time. I'll go with the Bills as the one seed. The I will go yeah, Chiefs as the two seed and the Browns as the three seed. I'm going to go Cleveland, the two seed. I, I, That's what I considered right there. Um, but you're, ta- you're taking them above the Bills, not, yep. not the Chiefs. Uh, and then, yep, I have Buffalo as the three seed. And then I have the Titans as the four. And then, yeah, you'll have Cleveland. And then, yeah. Uh, who's, your, who's your number one wildcard team? I am going to go, I think the uh, Chargers are the, uh, the four seed, the number really? one wildcard. Yep. You're very high on love the Chargers. Em. Love them. You're em. very high on love the Chargers. Em. Yeah. Uh, Tennessee for both of us, obviously. Yeah, the number one wild card team. Hmm. Let's think Ooh, here. Ooh, damn. That's, damn, the fucking AFC is decent. The AFC is loaded. Jeez. Loaded with teams. The Ravens and the Colts. Uh, yeah, I'll go Ravens. Yeah. I'll I, for sure go Ravens with the number one. I'll go uh, I'll go, uh, I'll go. go Ravens as my second wild card team. Okay. Um, uh, I don't think the Colts get in. I have their under. And I think I'll go with the Dolphins as my last wild card. So, okay. So I have two more teams left. Mm -hmm. Um, Hmm. Who's it going to be? Who's it going to be? I picked, I went Chargers and Dolphins Um, in these two spots. Um, You took the over on the Steelers. Um, They could get three in again. No, I took the under on the Steelers. Oh, you did? Okay. Um, Uh, Took the over on the Colts. Took the over on the Colts. I took the over on... LA. I took the over on the Patriots and I took the over on Miami. So in theory, any of those. It would be smart for me to pick one of those teams. Um I also took the over on Denver. Um hmm. <laughs> I think you gotta pick one between uh, New England and Miami. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go. I'll go I'll go Chargers and then I'll go Pats. Okay. I like it. I think, yeah, if things go right for New England, they could for sure get in. I think they could bounce back. Um, we can pick the games, or we can just pick the who we think is gonna gonna match up and then come out of the. Uh, I'm thinking Cleveland is gonna beat New England for me. I assume you think Kansas City will beat Miami, right? Yes. Uh, I think Buffalo will beat the Chargers. Mm-hmm. Um. I think Tennessee, once again, will beat Baltimore. Did they lose to Baltimore last year, or did they beat them? Because they played in the playoffs last year. They did. I believe Tennessee won. Mm. The year before, they beat them when Baltimore was the best team record-wise in the league, and then they played again last year. No, I think they got them back. Yeah, and I they think dance Baltimore, on the Baltimore beat them last they year. They were I dancing believe. on them. Uh, we'll give this one to Tennessee. The rubber match? This time around. All right. Um... So then that would mean Kansas City would play who? Tennessee. Kansas City's beating that ass. Um, I have Then mine. Cleveland, Buffalo. I'll take Cleveland. And then we'll do an AFC championship. Mm, no, I'll go Buffalo. We'll do Kansas City, Buffalo. Who was the AFC title game last year? Was it C- Buffalo, Kansas City, or was it Cleveland, Kansas City? No, Cle- Cleveland lost to Kansas City. In the AFC title game? No, before that. So, so Buffalo played them in the AFC yeah. title game. Rematch? Um, then no. I'm going to go Cleveland then. Kansas City, Cleveland. Kansas City wins the AFC. Super Bowl. So that would be a Kansas City, LA Rams Super Bowl for you. Yes. Throw it back to Monday night when they scored 120 points. That is correct. That was sweet. That um, is correct. I will, I will take – so the Bills have the bye. The Chiefs are my two seeds, so they will play the Dolphins. Is that right? Mm-hmm. I'll take, obviously, the Chiefs. Cleveland, Baltimore. 
Cleveland, Baltimore. I'll take Cleveland. Tennessee Chargers. Chargers. Okay. So then that would be Buffalo versus the, Char- the Chargers. I think it does it gets reseeded, doesn't it? But I it, whatever. I think so. Um yeah, that they would be a wild card, yeah. Buffalo against the Chargers. I will take the Buffalo Bills. Kansas City against I will take the Cleveland Browns to get the revenge on the Chiefs. Wow. And then I'll take the Bills to beat the Browns. We'll go Bills Rams in the Super Bowl. All in on the Bills. Love them. Okay. Who's going to win the Super Bowl? Oh, man. It's such a homer pick if I pick the Rams, huh? Kind of. Man, two elite coaching staffs. Quarterback advantage. You have to go with the Bills probably at this point. Defense is both solid. Uh, I'll go. I'll go with the Bills to beat the Rams. Unfortunately, I think they're just better. Bills Super Bowl champion. Yeah, we're partying in Buffalo. Bills to beat the Rams. Sadly, I'll get to have that despair again. Hopefully, it's a more entertaining game than the Rams were in the last time. But my Rams go down again. Chalk Donkey Central. I'm picking the Chiefs to win the Super Bowl. I think there's. I think they got a pretty good shot at winning it all this I year. I think they'll be there in the end. I think, I think Patrick Mahomes is too goddamn good for me to not pick another team. To not not to not pick for me to pick another team. That's fair. Uh, I think it's a pretty safe pick to pick the Kansas City Chiefs to win the Super Bowl. Real quick, let's do let's do some players. Let's do some awards. Sure. Let's do some awards. Uh, MVP. I'm gonna guess based on your team picks that you think Josh Allen will win MVP this year. Correct. Yeah, I have him also as my favorite to win MVP. Yeah. Uh, I mean, for me, him and Mahomes is kind of a toss-up. Uh, two other guys that are a little bit longer odds, I like Stafford and Prescott as potential. Sure. I wrote down Stafford, too. I think they could have the best record or one of the best records in that conference. I think he's going to put up a bunch of numbers, and I agree. I think Stafford is live. I saw him at 16-1 to 1 to win MVP. Uh, I have at 18. So. Okay, cool. 18. Yeah. Shop around, folks. Mm-hmm. Shop around. Uh, who else? Do you, oh, Dak. Yeah, I'm, I, 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 I really like the pieces on that offense. I bet so I think he under. could put up some gaudy numbers. Yeah, we have an extra game this year, so I assume someone breaks some records. But, yeah, I think he could go nuts. Yeah. Uh, yeah, some other guys that would be like Rodgers, Wilson, Brady, Lamar, I can't Kyler. Rem- I can't remember if it was before at the beginning of this or if it was on the NFC show. Uh, I think I really love the Browns. I think Baker Mayfield is a bit of a dark horse to Baker win. Baker is 35-1. to one. I think that's if a dark horse. They could finish – if they finish with the best record in that uh, conference. If Sean f- Watson is 35-1 to one I to saw win that. What the MVP. What the fuck are we doing? Apparently someone thinks – I don't know. Or Guys, maybe he's maybe there's enough play. Maybe there's enough stupid betters out there that – I don't know. I don't know. Maybe maybe he gets traded. I don't know. Uh, yeah, n- not going to bet that. Uh, I'll just light my money on fire. Um, so, yeah, that would be my long shot would be Mayfield. I think they're going to be really good. I uh, like that pick. In the same in the same vein, I think um, Offensive Player of the Year, Nick Chubb, is pretty live for that. I think they're going to run it a okay. ton. Okay. He could rush uh, for 2,000 yards. I think that's. I think if Allen wins MVP, he'll have so much rushing that there's no way he doesn't also win Offensive Player of the Year. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, um, it's definitely. Definitely live. Uh, McCaffrey obviously is a pretty good bet for offensive player of the year. He's uh, very dynamic. I think Kamara is also another pretty good pick it, yeah, for he, that should, award. He's going to get so much volume. Should get a ton of touches. Yeah, there's uh, a guy that probably should have won. Was it last year or two years ago? Maybe it was Devonte Adams. I mean, he's what was that last year? Last that he year put he, up all those touchdowns. He scored like 18 touchdowns, I think. Yeah. Uh, he won't ever get the award, probably, no. but somebody, just to bring him up, people probably don't realize yeah. how goddamn good that guy is. Yeah. Um, offensive Rookie of the Year, I think Lawrence. I don't really think anyone else. I mean, you could bet Lance or Fields, but I, I think, think Lawrence is going to play all the games, so I just think it's silly to I think really bet I on think anyone else. I think there's no chance that anyone but one of the quarterbacks wins. Najee Harris, thoughts? Justin Jefferson had the like the best rookie year for a receiver of all time last year. Herbert also had one didn't of the win best the, didn't win the award. Years I think there's a quarterback. Too, I think there's too many quarterbacks that one of them will be good enough to win it. Yeah, that's just the uh, league. 
Uh, yeah, I, just, I don't think I don't think I would bet Lawrence. I think I would take a shot on Lancer Fields starting enough games because Herbert that, didn't. He didn't play all the game. He he missed the first week. Did he start week yeah. two or three? Uh, I think that's definitely live for those guys, especially Fields. Yeah, um, I saw them at, at like six to one. Both of them six and a half, and Lance is seven. Six and a half for Fields, seven for Lance, eight for Najee. I don't think I would pull the trigger on the favorite Lawrence. I don't think I think be I good would just st- I would just probably stay away from it because I think Lawrence is going to win it because the narrative. I think he's going to have the counting stats. I think. Uh, yeah, I just, I just, I think, I think the Bears are going to dick Fields around a little bit. So yeah, um, that's very possible. If we knew he was going to start and you could get it before the the number drop yeah. a little bit we knew obviously because I, I think they're going to be way better than the jags mm-hmm. i think they could win 10 or 11 if games. all three of those guys are starting lawrence is the third best odds for me for sure yeah i would agree because the teams are way, way defensive better. player the defensive rookie of the year i have one guy i have jalen phillips just because i think he has the potential to get a lot of sacks sure. um the other guys that are ahead of him are like middle linebackers and i just don't really know yeah, they're gonna it's micah parsons and uh they're gonna rack up tackles. someone else i don't know Maybe Zayvon Collins or something. Uh, let's see. I don't uh, remember. I wrote down a couple. Jamin Davis. Oh yeah, yeah. I wrote down a, a couple. Um, J. C. Horn was the first defensive player drafted. He's gonna probably be the number one coin. He's gonna play as much as he as as he can handle on the 14 outside. To one. Fourteen to one for J. C. Horn. I think he is a dude. Um, son of Joe Horn. Um, not NFL. the highest odds of the corner, Sertan. NFL, NFL pedigree. Um, I think I'm big on the Panthers. I think if they could take a leap, if they're better than people think they are, I think he's a really good player. I've mentioned Jeff Okuda once or twice in the previous show and this one that being the number one corner as a rookie could get ugly, but I think if he succeeds, I think that's interesting. I also wrote down uh, Trayvon Morig from the – um, Las Vegas Raiders. I think he's going to play alongside um, Abraham in at safety, and he's probably their best option. Um, that's kind of a sleeper, long shot. I think he's twenty-five or thirty to one. Um, I think he's a pretty good player. They got him in the draft this year. Other Seems than anybody to else, like you just lean pass rusher for an award like this, though. Am I wrong in thinking that? Yeah, it's easy to say, like get this, but. With the with a more like analytical league, I think cover guys could. Um, I don't know the history of who's yeah, one defensive rookie I'm of the year in the look past. Right Should have checked that before, probably. Let's pull it up. Let's see what you got. Um, okay, so Chase Young, Nick Bosa, both pass rushers, both very high picks. Darius Leonard, who's an off the ball linebacker. Uh, Marshawn Lattimore, who's a corner. Joey Bosa. Is a pass rusher, Marcus Peters, corner, Aaron Donald. So a pretty good spread positionally. Yeah. Three four defensive end. Um Sheldon Richardson, Luke Keekley is a linebacker, pass rusher, linebacker. Yeah, it's a pretty good spread. Um not as many corners as no no safeties. So kind of tough to make a huge impact in counting stats as a safety. Gotta I get picks. Yeah. Um so I'll go with I'll go with my pick of J.C. Horn. I'll say Jalen Phillips. Yeah, you know? sure. I think he's going to – high upside. Could make an impact as creative, a rookie. Could get, they're going to get him some creative spots, could, uh, get him in some mismatches. Could get him some – could get 10 sacks as a rookie. Defensive maybe. player of the year. My pick. I think this will be – I think I'll make this bet probably. Um, Not the favorite. I think the fourth I th- best odds. Oh, maybe not. Chase Young. Is my pick. I thought you, okay. Defensive player of the year. They're going to be really, really good. He has really good players Seeing around how him. how scary he was last year, thinking about him making a leap and a step up, I just assume they'll snap the ball and he'll already just be laying who, on top of the quarterback every single season. Who did they just play in the preseason? He dusted some guy, some idiot on the on – the, I mean, just walked around him like he wasn't there. Not a human being. Yeah, um, he's, the three guys with better odds are Donald, T.J. Miles Watt. Garrett. I thought you were going to say T.J. T.J. Watt. Yeah, I thought you were going to say Watt. Who some people thought he got robbed last year, but Aaron Donald won it. Um, yeah, Chase Young is a freak. It's going to be tough to double him because they're so good across the board there. Um, yeah, dude's good at good at ball. Sick player, sick player. Yeah, uh, so I'll go. I'll go Stafford MVP, and I'll go. Are these? 
your betting picks or your actual what you think will happen picks? Oh, these are what I think will happen. I think you well, think Stafford will win MVP. Oh no no no! Sorry, Josh Allen. Josh Allen is MVP. Say. Yeah, Stafford is is a nice little sprinkle, sixteen to one or eighteen to one action. Defensive player of the year is tough. They might give it. Eh, it depends. They could give it to Watt. I think people think he got robbed if he has another good year. They could give it to T.J. Watt. Hmm. I like the Chase Young call actually. That's. Yeah, I, I, he's such an animal. He's such an animal. Yeah, I'll go Chase Young too. I really like that. Oh. I think he's gonna have copycat. He could have sixteen or eighteen sacks. Yeah, I think he'll have a lot. Um, good player. He's pretty good. That guy's pretty damn good. He's not bad at all. Uh, Anything else you want to talk? Uh, coach of the year. Or comeback player of the year, I think if you don't bet Dak Prescott, you're just burning your money. It could be Saquon Barkley, though. If Dak has any type it, of... It, I mean, he's 2-1 to one for a reason. Yeah, I think it's pretty... I mean, he's pretty cut and dry. He's he plays light it up. And it was... It, it's like a... The narrative, He was. they are on hard knocks, which is building up buzz for the not that the cowboys need it um but it was also a very emotional like gruesome injury which Mm -hmm. alex Mm smith-esque um in a in a i'm not sure if it was a primetime game it was maybe like game of the week afternoon game on sunday but it was a a big game real real ugly injury crying as he went off on the cart type of stuff and he comes back and yeah i think they light it up yeah i agree i think he's the favorite for a reason i think he wins it too yeah I have no take on coach of the year. Do you have any any sort of uh just value? Uh I think Kyle Shanahan's a good shout just because they were bad you'll, last you'll year. Look at it, you'll see the turnaround and I think they're gonna be really, really good this year. Um I think we could get a little Belichick love if they turn it around. Did I, did I see that Staley was the favorite? Mm-hmm. The Chargers? Ten to one. I don't understand that either. Was I mean, I get it. I think awesome. they could make a good leap. I think they're gonna be really good. The odds seemed really weird for that. It seems Do they get like it's a first year coach. I don't know how. I, I don't it know. It seems like that's that. ripe for make. Urban Meyer is the third best odds. No shot. They're going to well, stink. That's the, that's the big turnaround. They're going to stink. Yeah. Uh, guys I wrote down were Kyle Shanahan, 14 to 1, Belichick, 12 to 1, Ron Rivera, 20 to 1, Mike Vrabel, 30 to 1. Um, say those again. Uh, Ron Rivera, I like. Yeah. Ron say Rivera, 20 to 1, uh, Belichick, 12 to 1, and Vrabel, 30 to 1. So the past few years, uh, Kevin Stefanski won it last year. Was he a first year or was he second year? I don't remember. Might have been first year. I think he was second. I don't remember. Maybe second. Though. But a, a big mm. a big turnaround, a nice jump with the Browns. Yeah. John Harbaugh won it the year before that. They went 14-2. and two. Matt Nagy won it the year before that. They went 12-4 and four with the Bears. And then McVay before that. They were really shitty and then made the playoffs at 11-5. and five. Jesus Christ, Jason Garrett won coach of the year. <laughs> Yeesh. Yeah, I'm seeing some bad coaches on this list. They, yeah, they kicked ass. Ron Rivera's already won two, so uh, I don't know that he'll win another one. There's Bill also Belichick's. A, there's also a narrative a where, like Belichick, he's like, it's un, like it's understood LeBron that he's, MVP he's the best. He's the best coach. We just we get it. Huh. Yeah, uh, I like Kyle Shanahan. Yeah, that's a good shout. I think they could be really good. Um, be Matt Rule, you want to pick Matt Rule? Sixteen to one. I do. I'll go with Matt Rule. I think the Panthers are better than people think. And I think they make the playoffs, and I think he wins coach of the year. <laughs> what a take. Yeah, I, I'm dug in. Let's go Panthers. Dude, get get this guy some freaking let's go, light blue and let's black. Let's go blue and silver or whatever. The th- yeah, give me some sky blue and silver, yeah. baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, anything else? We got anything else? Not really. You mentioned talking a little fantasy. We can do that on a different show. Yeah. We've, we've been we've, going long. We've talked more than enough on today's episode. Cool. Um, well, stay tuned for that. We'll talk a little fantasy, probably maybe some college football coming up. Some win totals or teams that we like there. You want to talk, you want to talk favorite player? What do you want to talk? Best college football players of the 21st century, in your opinion. Maybe do a little draft of that. We could do a draft, or, or just we could just do our top five, or do a little bantering, perhaps. Yeah. All right, cool. bounce some names back and forth. Anything else to look forward to? I don't think so. That's all we got. Cool. Um, look forward to more episodes yeah. of the podcast. Like and subscribe. Like subscribe. Smash that bell icon. We'll see you next time. See you next time. <laughs>